wow, this has not been a good reading month at all, at all. But I will say it's been a good month in other ways. Because, like, look at this guy. Are you kidding me? This is awesome. One of my subscribers, friends, Discord friends, bookish friends sent me this. So thank you, Miriam. Miriam's very funny. She always sends me the bot emojis whenever I go into like a live YouTube chat for some other person's show. And if she's, you know, also in that YouTube chat, she'll just put in four bots when I arrive, which is so funny. And, you know, it's because I love bots. You guys don't understand how much I love bots. And this is like the cutest bot I've ever seen. Look at these eyes. They're just like, it's like the emoji eyes that are like, and he's just looking at me. He's look, he's very judgy. He might not believe that I love bots, but I will tell you, I do love bots. Also, Miriam, you're going to have to tell me what this guy's name is or girl. I'm, I'm not sure. I forgot that I said a while ago, I will use gender neutral pronouns for bots. So they are very cute. I hope you guys all agree. All right, yeah, so very bad reading month for me, unfortunately. <laughs> I, I only completed cover to cover one book, so uh, I failed. Am I, do I have to revoke my booktuber card? I don't even know, but it was a big book. Look at this thing, and this is like very massive. It, it's got to be twice as big as the fourth book, but I finally finished this big, huge Lightbringer series, and it concluded pretty well, I would say. Um, there was a lot of falling action, maybe a little bit too much falling action at the end. But like, you know, throughout the book, like the book, oh my gosh, it was phenomenal. And I, I still think there were too many things introduced in the fourth book that it felt a little all over the place. Because, you know, like, I mean, if, if you've heard about the magic system in the, these books, it's like, you can draft colors. And, you know, there's like red and green and blue and like all these normal colors that people know about. And these colors do different things for like, you know, warfare and, you know, construction and, you know, everything. Like being sneaky or deceptive and they affect your emotions and stuff. But then like book four and five, it's just like, what magic system like oh there's like way way more and like all that original stuff it's not like it's thrown out the window or anything but it's almost not talked about because there's like so many like new magic systems getting introduced and yeah i like all the character arcs in this or almost all of the character arcs i'll do a separate review for it on friday fantasy friday and then i will do a review for the series just to be like hey, should you read this? Spoiler free, you know? Up next, we've got Children of Time, which I'm like halfway through. I have to finish this before this weekend because there will be a live show with Abby Salter. This is the book of the month pick for my Discord. This is like a sci-fi thing. There's spiders. There's um, people on ships. There's like a crazy robot. Not you, not you, bot. There's like a very bad bot out there that seems to have lost its mind. And yeah, I don't love it so far, but um, yeah, tune into the live show. I will post in the description and maybe on screen when that will. Now, the book pick for this month is A Darker Shade of Magic by V.E. Schwab. The live show for this will be with Lyra, my friend and fellow booktuber. And I've not read any Schwab, so this should be very exciting. I hear there's like four different types of Londons and, you know, Red London, I believe, has a lot of magic. Black London, everything's dead. Gray London is our London. And there's like another London. And I was making jokes with Jesse, the bookish mom, about, well, <laughs> it was mostly about V.E. Schwab's last name. And I was intentionally confusing V.E. Schwab for Charles Schwab, the like investment company. So I'm like, what London should uh, we invest real estate into? <laughs> Yeah, I'm just not funny. Anyway, <laughs> definitely join my Discord if you want to talk about this and join the live show, which will be at the end of this month. Up next, boom, look at this thick one. I will be on my quest of finishing one thick epic fantasy book every month until the end of time. And so we're starting with The Faithful and the Fallen by John Gwen. And yeah, I'm so excited for this. Look at this sword. That's awesome. That's very badass. 
even the brave will fall. And I just hear so many good things about this. I do hear that it starts a bit slow, so I hope I'm going to get out of my reading slump so I can power through the slowish start and then get to the really good stuff. Definitely let me know what you guys thought of Malice in the comments below. Most people liked it, right? Most people? I'm sure there are some outliers. Anyway, moving along. Oh, no. So now we've got three nonfiction books that I'm like in the middle of still. I didn't read any more Shock Doctrine. It's still good. I want to get to it. I, oh my God, I've just not been in a good mood. And Hood Feminism is like very good, but oh man, this, this will be a hard review for me to do just because it's like almost amazing. So I have to explain why it's not amazing while also talking about how amazing it is, if that makes sense. So yeah, it'll be a tough line to walk, I think. And I've still got like a little bit over half of it to go. So maybe it'll get better. I don't know. And yeah, Lula and the Workers' Party. Yes. This is not a thick book at all. But yeah, Lula Livre. If you're in Brazil, don't forget to vote for Lula. Up next, boom. Look at this, the Pinochet file. I talked about this quite a bit in my book haul. Uh, oh, also, apparently there was a SNL skit with a book titled The Pinochet Sudoku, which just cracks me up now. Um, but yes, this outlines the 9-11-1973 U.S.-backed coup in Chile, and it's got all of the secret documents. Like, look at this stuff. Oh my gosh. How official is that? And this is actually like a very important month in Chile because the military dictatorship that was implemented by the U.S.-backed coup and this guy, Pinochet, that dictatorial constitution has remained in place until last fall when the student uprising and feministas did like large mass protest and they got a constitutional referendum voted on in chile and the people voted for it overwhelmingly it was like 76 percent and yeah so like the constitutional convention is happening this month you i mean usually south american politics isn't covered very well you know or at least here in the states and at least you know by mainstream news outlets so i'm definitely going to have to go off the beaten path to uh, talk about that, but there should be a video on that that I will do, hopefully. I don't know. I've got so many ideas. Man, I had this video idea a while ago. Not the Feministas video idea. I had a secret video idea a while ago, and I was definitely a bit timid about it for a few months, and I was, you know, I don't know. But this morning, I decided I'm going to do it. So secret video will be incoming. I don't even know if that'll happen this month or next month, but I'm super happy for it. And again, I was dancing around my house this morning. That's like weird. Am I insane? Up next, I talked about this in my hopefully TBR last month. Didn't get to it, but yeah, I want to read both of these this month. Some of my friends are reading book three, so I want to read this with them. And to do that, I have to read book two as well. So hopefully we can do this. And I loved, uh, you know, Senlin Ascent a lot. I have a review of that from like a month ago where I somewhat incoherently talk about rugged individualism. And then The White Rose, I didn't get to this, uh, but I want to get to it. Book three in The Black Company. And book two was like pretty awesome. Book one was pretty bad, like not good, <laughs> but like st it had some okay qualities, but yeah, overall meh. So yeah, I do want to get to that. And then The Bone Ships by R.J. Barker. Uh, I have not gotten to this, unfortunately. And it's super sad because um, Jesse May and Elliot Brooks are having the live show for this book. And my, again, good friend Abby Salter is joining, but I didn't actually have time to get to the book. So <laughs> I can't really like watch, which is very sad. But I think that's coming up this weekend, if I'm not mistaken, as well. And also, can, can we just acknowledge how busy Abby Salter has been? Like, she's live daily, question mark? Like, every weekend day, she's live? I guess the queen has many responsibilities, doesn't she? But yeah, that's all the books I want to talk about. Hopefully, I complete more than one book next month. That's, like, the dream. Hopefully, we get out of this reading slump. This has, like, definitely been my worst reading slump since, I don't know, maybe, like, a year ago. Let me know how you guys are doing, how your March was. Uh, did you guys also have a reading slump? And yeah, like, comment, subscribe, and see you guys next time.